hello guys so I just got this laptop it's actually an Acer Aspire V and uh, I actually need to install a new operating system on it I'm trying to clean out the hard drive and install a new operating system but to do that I would actually need to access the boot menu so I'll be showing you guys how to access the boot menu on your Acer laptop. If you have an Acer laptop, just like the one I have over here, this is an Aspire V. So this is uh, Acer, it's actually a touch screen laptop. So I'll show you how to go about it. So the first thing you need to do is you power off your computer. So that's what I'll be doing. Go to the start menu and I select shutdown. Okay. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'll be powering it on and I'll be pressing the F2 key. Okay. I power it on as it's coming up. I press the F2 key. I press on the F2. Okay, so you come into your BIOS. Under your BIOS, when you're logged into your BIOS, the next thing you do is you come here to main. Under main, you come down over here to F12 boot menu. By default, it's actually disabled, so you're gonna be enabling that. So I'm gonna be pressing on the enter key. I press on my enter key and it gives me the option to enable it. I select enabled and I hit on the enter key. Also, because I'm gonna be booting from a USB, I will be disabling the secure boot. So I come over, so I come over to the boot menu and under the boot menu, you can see that secure boot is enabled so I'm going to be disabling secure boot. I come over here and I hit the enter key and I disable secure boot, okay? After doing that, I go to exit and I exit saving changes. So I'm prompted to enter the password on this laptop. So when I'm prompted, what I do is I press the enter key. It tells me it's fail. I click on OK. Try the next time. It fails. I click on OK. Try the third time. And it tells me to enter unlock password. I click on enter and it gives me a number. So you would need to take note of how many digits the number is. It's either an eight digit number or a 10 digit number. So like in my case right now, it's actually an eight digit number. So you take note of the number. So I'm taking note of my number. It actually changes depending on your laptop. So I'll be taking note of the number on my laptop. Okay, so what you would need, you would need another computer. I have another computer over here. And on your computer, you type in this address, www.biosbug.com, and you hit on the enter key. Okay, so it's gonna open up this website for you. And uh, I actually have an ESA laptop over here. So we come here to ESA BIOS Unlock. And mine is an eight digit BIOS Unlock. So I click on that. So once you click on that, you scroll down and it gives you like a box where you could put in your eight digit code. So I already have my eight digit code over here. I actually 
typed it in so I'll just be copying it and I'll be pasting it in here and I say send a request So it generates a code which I'm going to be typing into my computer. All right. So I take note of that code and I come to my laptop and I type it in. And I hit the enter key. So there you go. It has let me into my BIOS and uh, if you make a mistake while typing it in it will prompt you to type in the password once more so if you miss like a digit or something there's no problem you could always type it in again so now that I'm in my BIOS I'm gonna be disabling the password so that I don't get locked out anymore all right so uh, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, kindly put it in the comments. If you like this video, or if this video has helped you in any way, kindly like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.